Good day, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Funding. Today we're gonna take a look at how uh, we can use Sphere Chalk with geometry nodes to create some kind of uh, fractal. So yeah, let's just get started. So Sphere Chalk nodes, uh, imagine a fractal, imagine your head is growing like uh, another head, like smaller heads, and, you, and the smaller heads is kind of growing more, like even more heads, that's kind of like a fractal in a way. This is what I'm trying to create. Um, I started with a cylinder, this is procedural. Um, this, this is gonna be the base. I'm gonna get rid of the bottom part because we don't need it. And we're gonna turn off center, so this is on the floor, on the base. So let's save this very quickly. Fractal like so I basically want to grow things a bit like fractal it's not like three but it's kind of similar so with this we can adjust it later for now we just keep it like that so this generates alpha object and if you use uh, geometry nodes with alpha and try to instance itself it's gonna it's gonna break it's not gonna work so we need another object so I created this cube and what I'll do is I'll, I'll use geometry nodes on that cube and I'll try to instance um, itself let me show you what I mean distribute so I'm distributing some random points and that random points will instance this guy okay so that uh, that's pretty clear pretty easy to understand but instead of it's instead of using the boss I want to use the original base mesh so we have we can have alpha as input for alpha instance um, before I do that I kind of want to transform this also this is, I'm transforming 10 10 times you can see with with it being transformed 10 times, it's uh, distributed more equally. And if I transform it 0.1 here, it's gonna scale back. So this is a uh, pretty weird, pretty strange, right? This is actually kind of interesting as well. So anyway, the the input object currently is the this default cube, but I want to use the other objects which is of course this guy as an input so now this guy is growing itself so it's almost like fractal and I want to I want to do it multiple times um, and not just that uh, we can actually yeah so we can kind of grow a little bit more or less every time so let's try to understand this I will create another cube this is the second one let's save this with the second one I want to grow more and distribute smaller even smaller cylinder oops okay it crashes so that's a that's actually really interesting. It might be confused. Um, I don't know why it presses. Actually, did I? S yeah, maybe we need to create a new, another geometry node, and this time we we distribute smaller. So as an input, we're gonna pick the cube you can see and this time we're gonna make it even smaller Sa let's save this first I think the density crosses it before oh 
I might need to go even smaller. So this one is 20 times. This one should be 1 divided by 20. So it's already looking like fractal. And remember, you can always bring the original objects by joining it. So join geometry and you bring in the original and the instance together. So we have like a like a full we have the inside as well. You can see a cylinder and a smaller cylinder on top of it. And you can even go deeper. Create another cube. So this time another geometry nodes. But we also create a new one and we use cube number one and we instance alpha. I didn't instance the cube because I'm afraid it's, it might crash this. So this time, let's make this 50 times. And this one, actually, that's probably too much. 30. So 30 times larger, and this one, the instance is 1 divided by 30. That's fractal level level 4, yes. And for each um, duplicate and fractal, you this is already too complicated that our brain is like, okay, that's really complicated, and I'm just going to stop looking. It's become like almost like a noise, but that's a uh, very nature. And it's pretty much like nature. It replicate, replicates itself many, many times. Fractals. Um, yeah, play around with the ideas how you can randomize the the scale if you like. For example, if I just do it on the so imagine this is the original object, right? Of course, the alpha. We can always because this is I'm using sphere chop. I can always make changes here. And everything will change accordingly. So, yeah, see, it's become something else completely, like a like a broccoli. Yeah, broccoli. Um, let's reduce this even actually with the meridian. I'm just going to change it to twelve. Oops! Oh, well, that's too much. Maybe my computer is going to crash. But try randomizing the scale in XYZ and also randomize the rotations. We're probably going to end up with something really interesting. Um, the base, rem remember the base can be like the default cube itself. So, we, But in this case, I'm using the original base. So it's becoming like a fractal. But you can actually change uh, at any time in point, you can change the base and it's already gonna look kind of fractal-like. So imagine like if you put a broccoli on a, on a shape, on a, put a broccoli on donuts, like a really big donuts, and you have like a donut broccoli sandwich, but it's a little bit like that. I don't know if that's kind of makes sense so I just changed the, the resolution there it's looking different you can always randomize maybe it's too dense at some point we could start like this is geometry nodes fractal level 1 it should be less dense Yeah, this is uh, this is more in control, and if you want it to be more natural, maybe you can add some kind of noise, and 
instead of using random, you can use Poisson list and then adjust this distance. So it covers spaces more if, if, uh, equally. This one already level three. My computer is already slowing down. Um, but you can always bake it. You can always bake this into a single object, and it's gonna be faster. Like you can always bake as alembic, and then you you can use remesh or is a way to bake this into manageable objects so yeah uh, let's see so because this is like still connected instead of using cylinder you can use other things and you can plug different things maybe if I replace it with a with a torus I'm gonna try to do that if my crashes The torus, torus is a donut shape. I'm gonna reduce the resolutions just in case. In case it's a uh, crisis. Replace the cylinder with this guy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's fast enough. So we have a mix of donuts, scatter smaller donuts, and smaller and smaller to get this fractal. Alright, so yeah, there you go. Hopefully you understand the whole process. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.